Great. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Karen. I'm from Ripple Pictures and we're here representing Parked at the Dallas International Film Festival. Uh, hi, I'm Dominic Wright, uh, producer of Parked with uh, Ripple World Pictures and uh, we're delighted to be here at the uh, Dallas International Film Festival. You want to go first? You want me to? So, uh, well, Parked is um, it's a movie starring Colin Meaney, uh, who we all know from Star Trek, who plays an Irish guy who's been away uh, for years uh, around the world. He's recently driven back to Dublin, uh, which is his hometown that he hasn't been in for years, and he has nowhere to live but his car. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a mobile homeless guy and uh, trying to work out what the hell he's going to do next. And he's a proud man who doesn't really like to admit that's his situation. You want to take that? Yeah. Um, well, we've been working for a few years with the director, Dara Byrne. He's um, been making documentaries for about 17, 20 years. And this was um, a subject that he felt he couldn't make as a documentary. So he, we worked with him and a screenwriter, Kieran Cree, on developing a screenplay. And um, we shot it um, in Ireland's coldest winter last January um, and uh, delivered it, yeah, just in December there. And we're just starting the journey. Oh gosh, uh, I think it gets colder every time I say this, um, but I think it was like 35 years um, the coldest. It was in the minus temperatures and gale force winds. We shot in a car park um, in Dublin Bay, um, a gorgeous part of the world. Um, and uh, yeah, no. We work in centigrade, so I think it got to about minus 12 uh, centigrade, That's which is you know, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's, it's extremely certainly extremely cold. cold. Yeah. <laughs> and um, because we were in this, uh, you know, I mean, where the, where the setting of the film is, is a fantastic setting because Dublin is a huge horseshoe bay. That's how the whole city works. And sort of right in the middle of that is, um, is this sort of slightly remote industrial area where we found this car park right, you know, on the sea, which is, so he has, a, a, in theory, a great spot, but a, but a pretty dreadful, <laughs> condition to be there in um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah so and we get you know the wind chill was just ridiculous the yeah. actors who did an amazing job pretending yeah. that it wasn't cold and that it was spring and that it was summer and everything yeah. like that um, Colin Morgan um, who you guys might know from Merle in the BBC um, uh, program he the two of them did an amazing job sticking it out they were in the car park there for about two weeks um, you know throwing on heavy jackets in between takes and um, hot tea and everything. Um, but they did a good job and hopefully everyone can enjoy them. Um, well, I think having trailers for them helped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even though it was a low budget um, film yeah. um, in market terms, um, uh, they were really well looked after. The crew really looked after them and um, gave them the space and fed them and, and that's pretty much it. You know, uh, obviously they're both used to working on really big budgets and um, they did, um, they just rode in like everybody else and did an amazing job. Um, and they're both really disappointed they can't be here. Um, they're both filming at the moment. Um, Colin Morgan's on Merlin and Colin Meany, I think he's shooting two films at the moment back to back. He's a busy guy, as you all know. The truth is that, you know, they're both consummate actors and um, totally inhabit the roles. I mean, it, there's, there's an awful lot of uh, truth in the film. And, um, uh, you know, Colm in particular, I mean, we're used to seeing Colm probably in, um, you know, in, 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 in comedies and, and, and stuff like Star Trek. You know, this is, this is a, a, a departure in some senses for him. And it's, you know, he, he was actually amazing. And, 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 you know, when you see the film, there's real humanity there, and we've not seen Colm exposed in this way as a as a as a character. I mean, he really went there as an actor, mm. um, and he's he's physically and emotionally exposed, and it's 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 a beautiful job, you know. Well, we're you know we're you know I mean Jacqueline and I are very um, you know we're very very passionate producers um, about script, um, so we work in incredibly closely. Um, on, on any film we do with the writers uh, and, and, and director um, to, to really look at every line and, and, and really try and build up the team around them, um, you know, depending on what the budget level is. And we work at a range of different budget levels. And this is, this is small, but it's not minute. You know, it, it was, um, you know, you always want a little bit more money. <laughs> um, but uh, we're fortunate enough in, in, in Ireland 
um, to have a, a, a fantastic body in the Irish Film Board that's incredibly supportive. Um, and we have a, a strong tax incentive as well. So, you know, this helps us bring money to the table. And in this case, we made a, a co-production with Finland, of all places, <laughs> who were great. Um, and it was actually a pretty straightforward co-production. Mm. And we were able to, you know, to bring, you know, proper production values to the, to the, to the table. Um, but, but more particularly, I think we just work really, really closely, you know, on, on every aspect of that production, very, very closely with the director to make sure that everything is going to be there that is needed to really bring that thing to fruition. I, um, I haven't been doing this as long as Dom. <laughs> um, and I think the best thing for me was actually talking to everybody, talking to HODs, talking to other producers, talking to film funds, um, and talking to your peers, and actually swapping notes and not being shy about sharing your story. Um, don't, because, you know, um, everything, uh, you know, we all own everybody's, everyone has the same ideas, essentially. Um, and um, it, it's important to sort of admit that you d don't know things and ask questions and you learn through your mistakes and other people's mistakes hopefully as well and they can learn through yours. So. Yeah, I think and I also I also think um, you know film festivals I mean there are lots of great training programs out there but film festivals um, around the world are, are just brilliant forums for sharing ideas and mm. experiences and stories about how things get made mm. you know apart from being a great place to network and find that next project or that next partner that's what generally happens at film festivals. It's certainly what we find. You know, you you go to these things and you you, you never know who you're going to meet. You never know quite what's going to happen, um, and uh, it's always exciting.